Hi, my name is Rachel, and I will be presenting on the scatter hoarding behavior in eastern gray squirrels. So, what is scatter hoarding? Scatter hoarding is unique to the gray squirrel species. Other squirrel species participate in other types of hoarding. It is the process of foraging food items and burying them in many locations throughout their territory, such as seeds, nuts, acorns, and other food items. Depending on where they live, squirrels have a certain range of territory, and they bury their caches in different places covering that territory instead of just one spot. So my presentation is focusing on the caching behavior in squirrels, which is a subcategory of scatter hoarding. So I'm going to play a video here. It was taken by me at the Pennsylvania State University Altoona campus. Right here you can see the squirrel kind of running around, and then eventually it comes across a food item, as you can see here. Here it is with the food item, kind of examining it. So the squirrel is deciding to cache the food and is now running to a new location. So here you can see the squirrel actually burying the food. So the squirrel's hidden food items are called the cache. So squirrels locate a food item and hide it, which you can see the squirrel is doing right here, and then they come back to the cache to eat it, usually during the winter time. So, how does a squirrel decide when to cache an item? My hypothesis is that the size of food causes a squirrel to decide whether or not to cache the item. And research done by Jacobs backs up my hypothesis. The research done shows that squirrels are more likely to cache larger food items and eat smaller food items straight away. So, if a, it takes longer to eat than it does to cache, the squirrel will bury the food item. And if the food item takes longer to cache than it does to eat, the squirrel will eat the food item. So how do squirrels know that they have to cache food? According to research done by Steele and other authors, squirrels have an innate behavior that allows them to know when to begin caching for the winter season. This means that it is genetically hardwired into the squirrels to collect and cache food. In other words, squirrels cache based on instincts. So why did this behavior evolve? According to an article on Wildlife Online titled What Controls the Caching Behavior in Squirrels and How Do They Find Their Buried Nuts, the benefit of having a store of food throughout the winter outweighs the cost of spending time caching the food. So this behavior evolved because the benefit is greater than the cost. The benefit of having a store of food throughout the winter is that squirrels don't have to spend a lot of time looking for food during the colder months when food is hard to come by. Many trees that produce nuts and seeds in the warm months do not produce them in the winter. Nuts and seeds make up a decent portion of the squirrel's diet, so having a store of them provides food year-round. The last question is, why do squirrels cache food? According to an article on Discovery Place Nature titled, Getting Nutty, How Squirrels Prepare for Winter, caching food items allows a squirrel to have sources of food throughout the winter, which promotes survival. As said earlier, food is a lot harder to come by for squirrels in the winter. Without a store of food, it would be more likely for a squirrel to starve during the winter, resulting in death. I will be relating the feeding and foraging module from Cogbooks to my squirrel species. Gray squirrels are a generalist species, meaning that they can eat a variety of food and survive in many different habitats. Gray squirrels live in a wide variety of habitats, including suburban and urban areas and forests. They eat nuts, seeds, plants, fruits, vegetables, insects, and more. And here are my references. Thank you for watching.